To get the corresponding chi-squared test statistic and p-value from StatCrunch, um, I went ahead and already typed in the contingency table. Okay, I made a uh, column titled gender and then across the top the categories for ages. Okay, then I want to click on stat and scroll down to tables and then scroll to contingency with summary. Okay, so I went stat, tables, contingency with summary. Okay, so I want to select all of the columns where my data is. And I can, um, oops, I missed a column, um, put in where my row labels are. So I'm going to select the gender column. Okay, I didn't name the column variable, so I'm going to leave that blank. Okay, now I want to click on Next because what is really nice about StatCrunch, um, same issue with the calculator, is that I can have it calculate the expected values for me rather than doing that by hand. So I'm going to click on Expected Count and I want the chi-square test of independence. Now I'm going to click on Calculate. Okay, so it's going to give me the contingency table and you'll see that my observed values are in there and right below that you'll see the expected values. So if you needed that piece of information for either the homework or to do the test statistic by hand, um, StatCrunch will find those values for you along with the row totals and column totals and here's the grand total. At the bottom you will see um, the degrees of freedom of 5 which is the number of rows minus 1 times the number of columns minus 1. Here is the corresponding chi-square test statistic and the corresponding p-value.